Hi and welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about yield return. So you can use yield return with some collection types like I enumerable and it is a very good way to improve the performance of your application. Let me show you how. My function here asks for a number and generates all the powers up to up to that number. So if I give it 10, I get uh, all the powers up to, up to 10, 2, 4, 8, 16, and at the end we have 10, 24. But uh, for this method to work, first we need to have a temporary list and fill that list with, with all the powers of 2 and return that as a result. We have two main problems with this approach. First, if I give it a big number like 10,000 or even a million then we get a very large temporal list of numbers that takes up memory that memory needs to be removed by gen 2 garbage collection mode and uh, that can cause efficiency and performance issues the second problem is that in order for me to print the numbers i need to wait for the list to be completed so I'm asking for like a million numbers and I need to wait for all those numbers to be generated and only after that I can start printing them. Now let's use power by 2 yield. Uh, using yield solves both of those problems for me. First as you can see here I don't have any temporary list in yield and yield return returns the value of this function as soon as I have it inside this loop so we don't have to wait for all the numbers to be generated in order to print them and uh, let's add some breakpoints and explore the um, application this way so I start and I continue as you can see I uh, get the first number and I print it and I get the second number, then print, third and print. And this is how my application is working right now. Uh, so we don't have to wait for all the numbers to be generated first in order to print them. And that is great. Maybe you want to find the first uh, power of two that is larger than a hundred then that would be 128 uh, and using the first approach you have a problem because you have to wait for all the numbers to be generated and then and only then you can check uh, for the numbers but using the second approach I can have an if a statement here and as soon as I find the first number larger than 100 I can break the for each loop and end the application. Seems to me the second approach is more efficient and faster in many ways. Yield return has some limitations. You cannot use yield return in lambda expressions, anonymous methods, and can only have these return types when you are working with yield return. But in most applications, when you are working with collections, especially in entity framework and DB context, I enumerable is what we used. So yield return can be used in many uh, parts of your application. And that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching and see you soon.